OpenAI has just entered the ring of agents with the Swarm, which is an experimental framework designed for educational purposes focusing on lightweight multi-agent orchestration. So in this video, I'm going to show you how you can perform data analysis using multi-agent orchestration provided by OpenAI Swarm. Alright, so let's get started. So the first thing that you need to do is to add all of the dependencies that we are going to be needing for this project. So in order to use the OpenAI Swarm, we are going to be needing Pandas, Matplotlib, OpenAI and then from the GitHub, we have to install Swarm.Git. Once everything is downloaded, now we are going to move towards our next step, which is to set up the environment for using the OpenAI Swarm. And in order to do that, firstly, we are going to import all the libraries that we are going to be needing. So we will be needing Swarm, OpenAI, OS, JSON, Pandas and IO. And then I have set the OpenAI API key as a secret key right here inside my Google Colab notebook. And I am fetching its value and storing it as an environment variable inside the OS. And then I am simply initializing the Swarm client. The next step is to create the agent. And for our scenario, we are going to be needing four different agents. First is going to be the data collection agent. Then we need an agent for data cleaning. The third agent is going to perform data analysis. And the fourth and the final agent is going to perform data analysis on our data. So let's go ahead and create all the four agents. Firstly, I'm creating the data collection agent. Its name is data collection agent. These are the instructions. And you can also assign it any function that you want. And similarly, I'm also creating an agent for data cleaning data analysis and data visualization. Once we have all the agents, now the next thing that we need to do is to define the functions for each agent which will be performed when each agent will be triggered. So since we have four different agents, so this means that we are going to be having four different functions, one for each agent. So firstly, I'm creating a function to collect the data. It, this is going to be the function for the data collection agent. Inside this function, I'm simply reading the CSV file inside a pandas data frame and returning the data frame. Then inside the clean data function, which is taking a data as an input, I'm going to check if the data is a type of string, then I'm going to convert it inside a data frame. And then I'm going to use the drop NA and drop duplicates function to remove any null values or duplicate values from the data set. And then I'm simply going to return the clean data set. The third function is to analyze the data. Inside this function, once again, firstly, I'm going to test if the data coming from the parameter is of the string type. If it is of the string type, then I'm going to convert it inside a data frame and store it inside this data variable. Then, in order to perform the analysis, we are simply going to call the describe function of the data frame and then return the analysis generated by it. And the fourth function is to visualize the data. Inside it, firstly, we are again checking the type of the data, converting it into the data frame. And then I am defining five different type of charts that will be created by the visualization agent. So we are going to be creating a histogram of salaries, a bar chart of the job roles, pie chart for the department, scatter plot for the salary versus department, and the box plot for salaries by department. So after defining the four different agents and the function for the four different agents, we need to assign the function to each agent individually. And that can be done using the append function. So firstly, we are going to use the data collection agent dot functions dot append function inside which we are going to pass the function name which should be appended with the data collection agent. And similarly for all the other three agents, we are going to follow the same method and assign the respective function to all of the agents. And the last step is to define the pipeline and run the swarm. And in order to do that, we are going to create a function called autonomous data analysis pipeline inside which we are going to define the sequence in which all the agents will be run. So the first step of our analysis is to collect the data. And for that, we are going to run the swarm using the client don't run method inside which we have to define the agent, which in our case is going to be the data collection agent. And then you have to define the messages that will be passed to the LLM. So here the messages is that role is a system and content is start the data analysis. Then this step is actually going to run the OpenAI Swarm and is going to call the function which we have associated with data collection agent and whatever the function will return will be stored inside the store data function. So overall, this part of the Swarm is going to collect the data from our CSV file and return it as raw data. And then in order to get the actual data from the response, we are going to store 
the raw data dot messages first in text inside this data variable. Then the step two is to clean the raw data. And for that, we are going to once again run our swarm using the client dot run method. This time the agent is going to be the data cleaning agent. And then we have to provide a list of messages inside which we have to define the role in the content. So the role is going to be system and for the content, we need to provide the actual raw data which is extracted from the response which can be accessed using the content from the data. So this swarm is actually going to execute the function which is associated with the data cleaning agent. It is going to clean the raw data and the clean data will be stored inside this clean data variable. And then in order to extract the actual data from the entire response, we are going to perform all of these steps. And then finally, we will have the actual clean data inside the variable called final clean data, which we will use for analysis and visualizations. So the step three is to analyze the data. Once again, we are going to run our swarm inside which the agent is going to be the data analysis agent. The function which is associated with this agent will be performed and the data which will be passed to the function is going to be the final clean data. And then finally, we are going to run the swarm once again to call the data visualization agent by passing the final clean data again. And then finally, we are going to execute the autonomous data analysis pipeline which we have just created by simply calling the functions. So this function is going to run the swarm which have four different steps and the swarm will be executed four different times, one for each agent. And then each function associated with each different agent will be executed and will provide us the response for our data analysis. So now let's go ahead and run this. It is going to take some time in order to perform the execution. So firstly, it has provided us the message that the data has been collected from our CSV file. Now it will perform the data cleaning. And then after a while, you will get the message that the data has been cleaned as well and the clean data will be displayed to you right here inside the output. Now this clean data will actually be passed to the data analysis agent which will perform the analysis and yes, it has provided us the analysis summary that this is all the data which is present inside a data set. It has performed different type of analysis and now it is going to pass this data to our visualization agent which is going to create different type of visualizations for us. And you can see it has started generating the visualizations. Firstly, we have a bar chart showing the distribution of different salaries. On the x-axis, we have the salary range. And on the y-axis, we have the number of employees which have that salary. Then we have a bar chart for the job role distribution. On the x-axis, we have the job ID. And on the y-axis, we have the number of employees for that job. And then we have a chart showing the number of employees in each department. So the department having ID 50 has the most number of employees. Then we have a salary versus department scatter plot, where on the x-axis we have the department and on the y-axis we have the salary range. So it is actually showing us that employees of which department have salary in which range. And then finally we have a box plot of salaries by the department. You can clearly see the exact data which was depicting right here inside the scatter plot, but it is more clearly visible by looking at the box plot. And that's it. These are all the visualizations which it has performed. So you can see that we provided the data set and then created four different agents to perform the data analysis. The first agent actually collected the data from our CSV file, which I've already added right here inside my collab notebook. Then that extracted data was passed to the second agent which performed data cleaning. The clean data was then passed to the third agent that performed data analysis on the data set. And then finally, the clean data was also passed to the visualization agent which created all of these different type of visualizations for us. So you can see that performing data visualization using multi-agent orchestration was made really simple by the OpenAI Swarm. And the code too was not very lengthy. Contrary to this, if we were using the Crow AI, then the code would be much more extensive and much more complex. But the code for OpenAI Swarm is much simple and less in terms of number of lines of code. So I'll highly encourage all of you to try out the OpenAI Swarm in place of Crow AI to create the multi-agent orchestration projects. That's all for this video. Thanks for watching.